hello everyone how are you all doing i hope everyone is doing very well welcome back again to my youtube channel i know it's been long i've not been uploading i've been so busy yes but i'm here i'm back feeling good ready to do this video okay so if you're new you are welcome my name is faith this is my youtube channel i'm still a beginner still learning not very consistent but with time I will be when I'm done with my school and everything that I have have going on in my life so with no further ado let's get to it okay so today's video is going to be about negative or hate comments uh, about a video I did last year 2017 and it was about a uh, relationship uh, dating a Nigerian uh, what are the pros and cons of dating a Nigerian man Yes, and when I did that video, I didn't mean to ambush other men from different countries that is Africa. No, with all due respect, I believe each and every country has its own pros and cons of women and men. So this was my opinion because I am dating, no, I'm dating, I'm married to a Nigerian man. I'm never serious, so don't take me serious. You know, putting some negative comments here, though I won't show their names because I don't think it's appropriate. I, I have, no, I'm not beefing with anybody, so I think I'll just show you some of the comments or even read some of the comments that is. So I have my phone here, so if you guys see me reading, don't mind. It's just my phone. I never. The first point is that I never said that Nigerian men are perfect. Where did you see me or where did you hear Faith saying Nigerian men they are perfect? I never said that. So I don't know where that came from because all I did say is what I have experienced personally. I did say Nigerian men they're perfect. So I don't know why this negativity is flowing on that video. But anyways, let me tell you something. Out of my experience for my boy, it's a kudos. He's doing very well with me. I'm so grateful to God. You know, he treats me like a queen. So for me, he, he he's a good man. So I never said other men they are bad or anything. So don't come for me and tell me, or you comment below and tell me that why are you saying a German they are perfect. Each and every country we have, you know, bad and good people. So I don't know where, guys, can you stop that? If your man is white or black, I don't care where he comes from. I don't care if he comes from Nigeria, if he comes from Ghana, if he comes from Senegal. As long as he's treating you well, you have the right to give out your opinion as a woman or as a man. So that is my point number one. I never said Nigerian men, they're perfect, so don't come for me. Don't come for me. Point number two. Someone told me that I should be dating a Congolese that him he's a congo by himself instead of a nigerian boy did i tell you that i wanted to date a congolese and yes i have friends congolese good people but who are you to come on my channel and tell me that i'm supposed to be dating you and not the man i'm with boy buy yourself a girlfriend if you don't have one so goodbye to you Okay, the other point is that I never say Nigerian men, their culture is so perfect. Like, I never said you have to adopt their culture or anything. All I said is that I find their culture to be so rich. For real, I love their culture so much, but not the crazy things. Because some of Nigerians do will agree with me. I'm talking about, you know, their way of dancing, their cultural dances, you know, their foods. There are things they teach women that they are nice, you know, without, you know, putting a woman down. Those are the things I was talking about. I wasn't, I didn't say that in all African countries. Sorry, guys. I never said that Nigerian culture is unique. It's powerful more than any other African cultures. So, guys, keep that off, okay? Going to the next point. Stop telling me or stop judging me when I'm going to get married. Some of you they're asking me, you've dated the guy for nine years. Are you sure he's going to he's going to marry you? Definitely he's going to leave you or he's going to just use you and leave you. Excuse me. I think I made it this clear from the beginning. 
I am the one who will delay to get married because I have my own principles okay I have my own things going on it doesn't mean because I'm married or dating that my life is over and I'm supposed to do what he wants it's all about two people they have to sit down think what they want you know focus on their future try to achieve some things and of course you can still achieve some things even when you're married but I'm not I wasn't in a rush to get married one because we have an age difference not that big one day i'll talk about it and secondly like i really wanted to take my time okay i'm not those ladies who just jump to get married or you know i want to do i wanted to live with him get to know him he gets to know me get to know you know my bad and good i get to know his bad and good so stop telling me when i'm going to get married or stop telling me that he's using me he's not using me if there's anyone you're supposed to say he's using me maybe it could say it's me but i'm not using him okay don't get my point in a wrong. I think I'm not using him. I'm just, I love the way we are. I love the kind of relationship we have. I'm not in a rush. And again, I would, I'll get married the time when I feel is the right time. For now, I'm not in a hurry. Of course, the day I'll get married, definitely you will know since I'm a YouTuber and it's going to be very soon so don't worry but i got engaged to him back uh four years back when i when i turned 25 on my birthday yes i got engaged i don't wear my ring why is because it's big now i was a little bit chubby yeah but i am engaged okay i am engaged but i am not married when i want to get married i will let you all know yes he he would have married me long time ago if i wanted to but i won't do that we have families to visit you know homes um we have families to visit he has you know we need to get to know each other i need to get to know his place very well he needs to get to know my place. we have a lot of things to do and to accomplish so i'm not in a rush to get married for those who have been asking and yeah he's not playing me okay we are so much in love of course yes we have our ups and downs like i've always said but if there's something i love about him is that we have the same capacity of understanding he listens to me i listen to him he supports me and that's 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 what matters like there's nothing else that matters at all what mat what matters is the love we share for each other the respect we have for each other and the support we give each other in good and bad times got it okay so going to my last point today i'm so i'm so dramatic i'm so dramatic one because i'm from school there was drama i'm back home i'm feeling good i'm all alone i don't have food i need to cook but before i need to cook i tell you know what i need to do two videos today before i even make lunch for myself so let's get to the last one before i get get let's get to the last point before i get carried away and my last point is and i think i've said this before and i'm going to say it for the last time can we please stop judging people and stop you know painting people black like witches and everything and wizards i know nigerian has its own thing and the fame mostly is bad fame but they ain't like that you need to know they are very good people from that country intelligent people stop judging and i'm not talking because of them i'm also talking because as to when we get judged by white people we do get pissed off so much because white people they don't know they just say africa they believe africa we are all from africa like it's a country well africa it's a continent so stop judging stop Stop seeing people. Stop judging. That's the only thing. I, don't, I just don't even know what to say. Stop judging. We're living in 21st century. It doesn't. For example, if I'm doing something bad, does that mean all Kenyans they are bad people? If I get caught selling drugs, or if I get caught stealing from a supermarket, I mean, oh, Kenyan ladies, they are, they are, they are bad people. You know, they do this and that. Please. Think, I, th I think we're grown-ups. We have important things to think about. Think about your life. Think what you want. Think what you have in your account. You know, some people, they have their accounts, their, their bank accounts full. They are driving. What do you have? Like, for me, I still don't have those things, and I need to, I need to work hard and achieve them. And, you know, I'm focusing on my life. 
I'm with this man for 10 years now, but I don't even remember times he's from Nigeria. And neither does he even remember times he's from Kenya. All matters is what we share. So guys, stop. Let's learn to embrace each other, love one another, appreciate each other. Stop judging, okay? Until you get to know that person, then you can judge. You know, these judging things by their appearance, by the book, it's all good. So get to know the person before judging. And yeah, that's all I had to say for today. I know I'm kind of bougie. I know that, you know, I'm feeling myself because your girl, she's chubby, chubby, and she's kind of loving it because my mama told me I'm looking good, y'all, so <laughs> my mama told me I'm looking good. What do I have to do? Feel myself and fool myself because for parents, that you know, African parents, they like seeing you when you're chubby. Don't, 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 don't be lied to, okay? Because these parents, you know, you know, anyways. So yeah, that's all I had for today. And if you like the video, please remember to uh, remember to like the video, remember to subscribe, remember to comment, and even share. Uh, yeah, and yeah, please, please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you stick by. And yeah, subscribe. And remember to, you know, click that bell button so that you can get notifications every time I upload new videos. And for now, I have... To go and before I forget, you will see another video, okay, with the same top. So don't come for me. You girl had to do two videos the same day. So for now, peace out. Love you guys.